Good evening, everyone. Are you guys able to hear me? Everybody are able to hear me? Can you please raise your hands if you can hear me out? Can you please check your chat box if you are able to uh, if you are able to text me? Everybody, please use your chat box and can you please text here? In the chat box, can you please check it once? All right. All right. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Suren Daniel. I, how many people are joining this session for the very first time? How many people joining this session for the very first time? All right. Thanks for joining. All right. Thanks for joining, guys. Uh, just want to uh, introduce myself. My name is Surya Daniel, and I'm the senior faculty head at Adhyan Institute of Finance. And I am taking care of different educational courses that are going to help in Adhyan, especially with stock markets. We have we have trained around 700 to 800 students, enthusiastic traders who are interested in learning Indian stock markets in different trading segments like equity, futures and options. Uh, I personally trained around 700 students from this particular firm. So it's so good to meet you all in this particular session. Today we will be discussing about options. How many people are interested in options here? Or actually trading in options. How many people are actually trading in options? What type of options are you trading? Stock options or index options? Are you trading in indices or are you trading in stocks? Okay. Which index is your favorite index? Nifty or bank nifty? There are two set of people of uh, you are into Nifty and you are into Bank Nifty. I'm into Bank Nifty for a lot of time, almost like six years. I'm into Bank Nifty. Recently, I started Nifty as well. Not bad. It's really good. It gave me a really good welcome into the Nifty. And I, uh, I started like very recently and I made profits already in the Nifty as well, which is really good. Um, the structure of Nifty is quite different than Bank Nifty in terms of volatility, in terms of price moves, or in terms of the, the price patterns. So it's quite uh, different for me to trade in Nifty, but I am getting a really good touch in hand with Nifty as well. Um, all right. So Bank Nifty is like my dear friend since a long time. Not a problem. I handled a lot many volatile uh, days in my trading career but nifty is fine it's not that volatile so i so i think i can handle nifty in a better way as well how many people traded today in nifty or bank nifty today how many people traded in nifty or bank nifty today
anybody how many people traded in nifty or bank nifty today no answer i hardly got one single answer one answer only ar ar has traded not not everybody are trading <clears throat> at least how many people are following markets how many people followed today's market what is today's trend in nifty and bank nifty what is today's trend no trend it's slightly bullish to sideways it's not exactly sideways but it's slightly bullish not bearish it's slightly bullish to sideways all right which is fine can you tell me something if bank nifty or whatever it is if if your index is sideways can an option buyer make money is there any possibility for option buyer to make money if the market is sideways yes or no if there is no move there won't be any move in the premiums as well so obviously you can't make money very rarely you might make money like 10 20 points in a premium that's it you can't make money in a sideways you can it's not that you can't but when there is no proper movement in the price there is no move in the premium so obviously you can't make money if the market is trending either it is an upward trend or a downward trend you can make some good profits from option buying can you tell me who can make more money when the market is sideways is there anybody who can make money when the market is sideways or not at all moving the whole day still you can make money can you tell me who are those traders option sellers so that is me me myself an option seller all right i am a full time intraday option seller and i trade intraday straddles and i make money only through theta dk okay of course we need little more capital for that so do you think i made money today what do you think if i am an option seller and if the market is not trending that much and the market is little range bond do you think i would be making profits today yes or no yes i made money i made 1% of my capital my capital is 6 lakhs and i made 6000 today from option selling i will sell a short straddle that means i'll sell both call and put together of the same strike price and i make money in fact if you want you can go and check what is the strike price that i have taken today <clears throat> i think it's 30 Just a minute. Thirty-nine thousand five hundred straddle. Okay, this is what I have taken. How do you know that I have taken thirty-nine thousand five hundred straddle? Oh, that's great. So thirty-nine thousand five hundred is the straddle that I have taken. Straddle, short straddle is the is a strategy where you will be selling both call and put of the same strike price to eat the DK. But If you don't have any idea about what it is, never trade. That's very dangerous because if the market gets trending, you will lose money. You will lose huge money because option seller would lose unlimited. Can you tell me what is the difference between an option buyer and option seller? Anybody? Option buyer and option seller. What is the major difference?
option will be sold first and then option buyer will buy it if there is no option seller if there is no option created i mean if the seller doesn't sell the option there won't be any buyers so if there is no seller there is no buyer so seller has the legal obligation to sell any option buyer it's his choice whether he need to buy it or not clear let me tell you a simple example uh, i just wanted to give you a little brief about the difference between option buyer and option seller reason is majority of the people doesn't even know uh, the most of the differences so just i'll give you a little glance about option buying and option selling then we will be getting into the topic let's say uh, you bought a pvr movie ticket okay from pvr so the show is on sunday you have you have already paid for the ticket and you have pre booked it you reserved your ticket now let's say ticket is your option who is the seller here who is the seller who is the seller here who is selling the ticket to you pvr is the option seller let's say an option buyer is you who wants to buy the ticket to watch the movie so this is the deal between you and the seller that you are paying it to watch a movie now tell me something if you don't go to that movie okay if you don't go and watch the movie on sunday because of your personal things you you didn't you don't want to go you didn't want to go because you got some work and you didn't go will the pvr ever call you and sue you or will the pvr will ever call you and ask you why did you not come to the movie you have to pay me will he ever say that will he ever ask that will the pvr ever call you and ask you why did you not come to the movie despite of buying the ticket why did you not come yes or no simple question yes or no will the pvr will ever ask you absolutely no because option buyer is not legally obligated to anything when it comes to option okay it's completely his choice whether he needs to watch the movie or not he can cancel it at any given point of time but tell me something after you paid the ticket okay after you paid the ticket what if pvr has given that ticket to someone else someone else is sitting in your place when you went inside the movie what will be your first reaction or let's say pvr called you and said your ticket got cancelled automatically we have allotted the ticket to someone else what will be your reaction will you be calm or are you going to sue them are you not going to question them legally not just you know normal way definitely you will question him and sue a case legally because seller is legally bound to the option there is no way seller can escape from selling an option once he started selling it okay option buyer is not legally bound but option seller is legally bound clear this is the point now let's discuss about the thing option what is an option is it a real product or is it just an option what is the difference between the product and the option let's discuss about it i will just give you a little brief about how you can uh how you can apply the logic of option in a real life i'll just give you a 5 minutes example and i'll close it let's say you want to buy a car okay what's your favorite car anybody what's your favorite car a dream car you can say fortuner okay somebody said fortuner all right let's let's go with fortuner <laughs> you know utna utna limit tak nahi jana hai mercedes rolls royce let's 
let's not uh, even i can't even dream about that cars okay let let's let's leave it till fortuner fortuner may be practically possible i personally have a hyundai creta 2021 model creta black the new one which is so so good but yeah fortuner is obviously a really good car let's say you want to buy a fortuner and you went to a dealer okay and you want to buy this car what is the cost of fortuner what is the current market price of fortuner it's around 50 lakhs let's say 50 lakhs okay base model let's say 50 lakhs is the uh, current price base model so what he said was right now we don't have the stock ready the car is not ready available especially the color that you have asked for what i can do you what i can do for you is i will create a contract that is if you can pay a token amount of 10 lakhs okay and pre book your car because of high demand it will come after 6 months so if you can pay a token amount of 10 lakhs okay let's not say 10 lakhs 10 lakhs is not a token amount you are paying almost 20% 30% of it let's say 5 lakhs you have paid a token amount of 5 lakhs to pre book your fortuner okay so that it uh, once it comes they will let you know so the deal here the contract of the option that has created by the dealer is if you pay the 5 lakhs now after 6 months whatever may be the price of fortuner i am going to give you the current price like today's market price of the car is 50 lakhs i am going to give you that particular price after 6 months as well even though there is a change in price whether it is reduced price or increased price i am going to give you for 50 lakhs that is the contract that is created between the seller and the buyer this contract cost is how much the cost of the contract is how much the cost of the contract is how much how many people can answer this what is the cost of this contract 5 lakhs because that is the contract value right and this contract will be expired in how many months this contract will be expired in how many months the time period of for the car to come for the car to deliver how many months 6 months so the contract of this option is 6 months so after 6 months this contract will be expired so the the real product is fortuner car but we are not dealing with the original product that means we are not dealing with bank nifty we are dealing with an option here with a particular price that is 5 lakhs 5 lakhs is the premium that an option buyer will pay for this contract to seal this contract so so the seller will get the 5 lakhs the buyer will get buyer need to pay the 5 lakhs to get this contract this is how it done it is done now let's say the 6 months is over the current market price of fortuner has been increased to let's say 70 lakhs after 6 months because of uh, inflation let's say it won't happen that fast but let's say the cost of the car has become 70 lakhs still the seller need to sell the car for how many lakhs still the car should be sold for how many lakhs as per the contract 50 lakhs so in this deal how much buyer has made profit and how much seller has lost the seller has lost 20 lakhs and the buyer had made 20 lakhs okay next next case is let's say the car cost has become 2 crores which won't happen but just let's have an example what if the car cost has become 2 crores 
but still the seller need to sell the car for 50 lakhs what is the loss that seller has got as per the current market conditions he lost 1.5 crore but the option buyer had made the same 1.5 crore as the profit so technically speaking the loss of the seller is unlimited is there any limit where the seller will lose or is is it unlimited theoretically speaking the car cost can go to any limit as possible so option seller will lose as much money as he can all right so can you tell me in this way option seller loss is always unlimited if you are an option seller make sure your losses are limited because theoretically speaking the losses of option seller is unlimited he can lose undefined money on the other side option buyer would lose would make unlimited profits there is no limit for an option buyer if he is right with the direction if he is right with the direction there is no limit for an option buyer he can make unlimited money but the real problem is understanding the direction that's where the real problem comes that's a different story so option buyer will make unlimited money option seller would lose unlimited money let's talk about the second scenario what if the car cost has become 40 lakhs or let's say the car cost has become 20 lakhs after six months the current market price of fortuner has dropped down so drastically the price of the fortuner has become 20 lakhs now still the seller need to sell it for 50 lakhs so in this deal how much the seller will make how much the seller will make? How much profit the seller will make? 30 lakhs. And how much the buyer will make? How, how much the buyer will lose? How much will the buyer lose in this contract? 30 lakhs. Tell me something. If you have little brain, okay, Will you ever buy a car worth 20 lakhs by paying 50 lakhs? Never. Instead, I will cancel the contract by sacrificing that 5 lakhs and I will rebook it for 20 lakhs. Yes or no? I will cancel the contract. It's okay. Let me lose that 5 lakhs. Not at all an issue. Instead of paying extra 30 lakhs, I would be happy losing 5 lakhs to get my car just for 20 lakhs. Yes or no? In this way, option buyer need not legally bound to buy that car at any given point of time. At any point, the buyer has the right to cancel the contract by sacrificing the premium that he has paid. So the maximum loss an option buyer would take is how much? The premium that he has paid for that option. That means if you bought the premium for 200 rupees in an option, that premium will become zero. It can't go beyond zero. So the 200 is the maximum loss you can take. So the maximum loss an option buyer can take is the premium paid. And the maximum profit an option seller can make is also the same premium paid. Option seller will not, can't make money more than the premium of the contract. Option buyer can't lose more than the premium. Option buyer, option seller can't make more than the premium. Is it clear now? In this way, option buyer has unlimited profit and limited losses. Option seller has unlimited loss and limited profits. Looking at this scenario, you might be thinking option buyer has the more advantage of making money. In reality, maybe yes, but not in stock market option segments. 
in option segment in indian stock markets or whatever markets making money from option buying is the toughest thing in fact i would rather say i wouldn't be feeling uh, any exaggeration in saying that option buying is the most difficult segment to trade in the whole indian stock market segments there is no ex exaggeration at all reason there are hundreds of factors that will affect you to not make money in option buying and those hundred factors will oppositely help an option seller to make money the same disadvantages for option buyer will be converted into option ah uh, advantage for an option seller but to get all those advantages for an option seller you need to pay a huge capital to make that money option buyer hardly need to pay the premium money if if the premium cost is 200 rupees in bank nifty then the capital needed for buy for an option buyer to buy that particular option is how much 200 into 25 how much 200 into 25 5000 rupees if you have 5000 rupees in your dmat account you can punch your option buying order but if you want to sell the same option for 200 premium of the same option at the same strike price you need to have 1.8 lakhs in your dmat account that's how vast the difference between option buyer and option seller why is that lot of margin required for option selling because option seller can lose unlimited the same time option buyer won't lose more than premium so the 5000 will become zero that's it okay so the point here is your capital should not define your trading career let me be very very frank with us why did you become option buyer why not option seller if your answer is capital then you are doing it completely wrong let me tell you if i ask you why did you become option buyer why not option seller and if your answer is capital then the answer itself is wrong because you are forcibly became an option buyer which you don't want to become maybe so try to understand your trading style first let me tell you something when i started or when i started liking option selling i don't have the capital i'm pretty much frank with this when i really try to get into option selling of course when uh, in previous years option selling used to cost around 40000 that's it not much lucky now it has increased to 1.8 like that's how the margins have been increased by the sebi the new margin rules has been affecting option sellers in a very big way it it used to be 40000 margin for option selling but now it is 1.8 lakh per lot okay so what i'm trying to tell you is even though at that time i don't have the capital to start option selling still i never left option selling i gathered the capital because i knew i understood the potential of option selling and i gathered the capital and i'm making it big now so the same way if you are really really passionate about something capital is never an excuse i'm telling you again capital is not an excuse if you want to start a business you don't start the business you you need not to start your business with your own money you can take loan you can fund your uh, your capital from an investor whatever it is you will get the money if you are passionate enough about your start up or a business the same way you can gather the capital somehow never say i don't have capital that's not the case at all all right so if you want to become an option buyer then only become an option buyer the capital should not be the reason for you to become option buyer i'm telling you again if that is your mindset if that is your reason for you to become option buyer you would eventually lose money by end of 2 to 3 months i can write it up and give you option buying is not an easy game option buying should have lot of technical skill at the same time a right approach and right 
risk management can you tell me something if you take an option buying trade let's say what is the maximum loss that any trade would get within minutes in terms of money one lot what is the maximum loss that you can get if the market reversed immediately market reversed what is the loss that you can see in your positions with one lot anybody if you take an option buying trade immediately market started reversing the amount we paid you might see around 1000 1500 to 2000 rupees loss within minutes yes or no yes agree that would be around with one lot that would be around 1500 to 2000 rupees are you ready to lose 2000 3000 rupees with just a capital of 10000 how many people are ready to lose 2 to 3000 rupees with 10000 capital in your account which is 20% of your capital if let's say you have 10000 capital in your account if you lose 2000 rupees on the same day in the same trade that will be 20000 20% of your capital how many people are ready to lose 20% of their capital in a single trade yes or no absolutely no so what should i change should i change the stop loss should i keep 10 point stop loss 10 point stop loss will hit within seconds like this don't change the stop loss increase your capital per lot don't use 10000 per lot use 60 70000 per lot or at least 50 60000 should be allotted per lot if you have 60000 capital for one lot losing 2000 means how much losing 3000 means how much losing 5% which is also little higher but that's okay if you have 60000 and losing 3000 in a trade that means you are losing 5% of your capital It's okay to lose five percent if you are ready to make ten percent, which is totally fine. If your risk reward is in such a way that whenever I lose, I lose three thousand, but whenever I win, I win six thousand, which is totally fine. You can you can lose five percent very easily, but if you don't have that cushion of fifty sixty thousand and just trying to gamble with five thousand six thousand. you will never achieve your psychol psychology or the mindset to trade option buying in option buying two things are really important risk management and risk reward your risk reward should be minimum 1 is to 2 and your risk management should be below 5% 2% 3% is totally fine losing 10% 20% not okay okay so i have given you enough information about option buying option selling the real life example between option buyer option seller i have given you a little bit glimpse about capital management and risk management i just wanted to give you one good scenario or one good system to not to lose more than 3 to 4% in a day with a capital of 60000 i am talking about a capital of 60000 i'm not talking about capital below 60000 so with a capital of 60 50 if you want to create a strategy with a safe way where you won't lose more than 2000 rupees or 3000 rupees if that is your question that is what i am going to explain you today okay let me open the website
Do not leave the class uh, before I explain you the strategy because you have listened everything, but you you should not leave the, without knowing the strategy. This is really important. So please uh, bear with me for a few more minutes. Okay, this is the website. This is my hub. I can tell you this is where I spend almost all my time here in this website. So this is the hub for an option buyer and option seller. You can create your own strategies here. I build my strategies. I test my strategies. I back test my strategies, everything over here. If you're interested, you can log in and subscribe to this particular website, which is totally free. I'm not even promoting this. This is totally free. This is a useful website for me. So that is the reason I'm telling you. <clears throat> so I'll just give you, uh, show you the, uh, the difference between the naked option buying and the safe way of option buying. So 8th September, tomorrow is the expiry. I'm hoping for a good expiry for like, for sellers expiry is really, really advantageous because all the premiums will become zero by end of the day, which is, there is no other way for the option other than becoming zero on an expiry. So using this logic, we will put all our efforts to make money in this particular uh, uh, day. Let's say uh, right now the spot price is at 39,000. Uh, you can see the spot price is at 39,450. So the ATM would be around 39,500 call. So you are expecting that the market will move up. So what you have, what you did is you have taken the ATM call option. Uh, what is the premium? Can you see the premium over here? What is the premium guys? How much is the premium? Can you tell me the premium? It's 227. Can you tell me how much margin does it require to buy this particular option? How much capital does it needed or margin does it needed to buy this option? 227 into 25. 227 into 25, which is 5,690 rupees. Okay. So if you can see at the bottom, this is the margin required. So it has shown you the margin required also. And what is the maximum loss that you are going to get? If 227 becomes zero, how much loss are you going to get? The same margin is going to become zero. That is 5690. This is the maximum loss. Okay. This is the logic. And what is the importance of the premium value? Nobody knows. Maximum of the people doesn't even know what is the importance of the premium number. The premium is 227. And the strike price is 39,500. What does, what is the relationship between the strike price and the premium? The break even. The break even is the point at which your option will start making money in an option buying is the break even point. The break even point is equal to your strike price plus your premium. Your strike price is 39,500 plus 227. Can you please add 39,500 plus 227? 39,500, which is your strike price plus your premium 227. What is the value? 39,500 plus 227. What is the value? 39,727, 39, which is my break even point. Can you see the break even point over here? 39,728 BEP break even point. So, what does the break even point tell you? If you don't cross this price by end of expiry, you will not make even single rupee from option buying. Is it clear? I'm not talking about intraday levels. I'm talking about the expiry day. If you don't cross this level by expiry, you will lose all your money. You will not make even single rupee, even though the market moved up. Even if the market moved up from the, from the point you bought, 
still you will lose money because you haven't crossed that break even point this is option buying let me show you option selling the same call if i sold can you see the margin required what is the margin required how much is the margin required it's 1.5 lakh the same the same option if you want to buy it's 5000 rupees if you want to sell it is 15 1 ,50, 1000 why is it so much costly because if the market falls i mean if the market moves up which is against the trade you will lose unlimited money how much ever it is possible you will lose okay what is the maximum money you can make the same margin that required the 5690 is the maximum profit can you see the maximum profit here 5690 is the maximum profit you can make but here the break even point works in a different way for buyer and seller for buyer the break even point should be crossed for seller break even point should not be crossed if you are an option seller break even point is the point if you don't cross that you will not lose money this is the logic option buyer if the break even is not crossed you will not make money in option selling if the break even is not crossed you will not lose money if the market stays at the same point if the market goes in the favor or if the market doesn't cross the break even still you will make money in three different situations that is if the market falls you can make money if the market stays there you can make money or if the market moves up and doesn't cross the break even point which is 39727 still you will make money even though it has moved up against the trend still you will not lose money because you didn't cross your break even so this is this is why option selling seems much more advantageous than option buying because of this same reason of break even and the probability of making profit in selling is 67% which is like for every 10 trades you take seven times there is a very high chance for you to not lose money seven times you will not lose money for buying it is 33% that means out of 10 trades hardly three to four trades you will win so what is it telling us by looking at this what i am understanding is if you are an option buyer you need to make sure that whatever the loss whatever the losses that you made should be compensated in those three trades whatever the losses that you made in that seven trades should be compensated in the next upcoming three trades that means you need to have a very high risk reward strategy when it comes to option selling you don't need high risk reward you need a good strategy with good system that means the probability of making profit is anyway higher so all you need to focus on risk management if you can control the unlimited losses game is yours this is the logic between option buying and option selling now how do i take the advantage from option selling take the advantage from option buying to make a safe strategy that is what i am going to explain you now that is called spreads how to create spreads you need to create spreads by using option buying and option selling together and you might be thinking sir you have option selling we don't have that much capital how do i need to trade the spread so here is the good news even though there is option selling involved in the spread still the margin required is not more than 20000 which is a good news so let me show you the strategy if you want to make a bullish spread that means a bull spread you can say a bullish spread you need to do one thing you need to use two calls you need to buy an atm call one lot and you need to sell an otm call of one lot that's it so the price is at 39500 what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy 39500 call which is atm with the higher premium and higher delta 
and I'm going to sell a far away OTM call. That is, let me take 39,500, right? So let me take 30 or else 40,000. 40,000 call options sell. So this is called a bullish spread. Bullish spread can be created by buying a ATM and selling an OTM of the same side. That means either call or put. If you want to create a bearish spread, you need to buy both puts. I mean to say you need to use both puts. If you want to create a bearish spread, you need to buy ATM put and you need to sell OTM put. You need to create a bullish spread, you need to buy ATM call and you need to sell OTM call. Now, here, the maximum loss you can take in this is 4,000. That means the limited loss concept from option buying and limited profit concept from option selling has been mixed together to make a good risk reward system. Can you tell me what is the risk reward here? Loss is 4,000, but the profit is 8,000. What is the risk reward here? One is to one or one is to two? What is the risk reward here, guys? It's a one is to two scenario. Loss is 4,000, but the profit is 8,000, which is a very good option buying system. As I said, to make more profits in option, uh, option buying, you need to have a very good option, uh, risk reward as I, as I said. But do you think with this capital, 20,000, 4,000 is a good system? No. What I can do? Either you need to increase the capital or change the system a bit. What you can do is, if you can't take this much loss, you can bring your selling call to nearby. That means, let me take, instead of going far away, let me bring the call little inside. That is 39,800. Now, the loss has been reduced to 3,000. So, if, as I said, that is what I am telling you. If you have 60,000 capital and if the market completely goes, goes against your trend, that is uh, bearish, you want a bullish scenario, but if it went bearish, however, however down it goes, the maximum loss you can get is only 3,000 rupees. So, 3,000 is the maximum loss and 4,000 is the maximum profit you can make in this system. This is almost a 1 is to 1.5 scenario. So, the point here is, if you can't go with more loss, bring your selling call more inside so that you can reduce it more down. Like, you can reduce it to 2,000 also. If I can bring it to 39,700, It has reduced more. My losses maximum is 2,200 and my target is 2,700. Still the risk reward seems to be okay for me. In this way, you can build your own safe system if you identify a right direction. If you can identify a right direction, there is no better strategy than spread. Never go with naked buying from today. I don't know if you'll promise me or not promise to yourself. Never will I trade with naked call or naked put from today. Because the loss is going to uh, affect you so much that you won't even try option buying from next day. So have a safe system. You know the direction. Then go with a spread. If you want to create a bearer system, simply... Buy the put, ATM put, and sell the OT. Thirty-nine thousand two hundred put. So, if you want, this is how you can create. 
So the maximum loss is two thousand eight hundred, and the maximum profit is four thousand six hundred. It's almost a one is to one point eight scenario. So in this way, you can build your own bullish system and bearish system as per your risk appetite. Keep sixty thousand, whether it is a spread or a naked option, doesn't matter. Keep sixty thousand per per system, one lot system. So for this, you need twenty thousand. So keep sixty thousand, and you are ready to lose. You are okay to lose three thousand, which is totally fine. If the market goes in your direction, you will anyway make money. If the market goes reverse to your direction, you have anyway prepared for the loss. So. trading is not a predicting game trading is a calculated game you need to calculate how much if i lose how much am i going to win if i win this is what makes you different from a normal trader a successful trader will always calculate his losses before his profits me as a trader me as an option seller will always decide or uh, fix my mind that i'm going to lose my 1% today so the same way if you are an option buyer you need to fix your mind that i'm going to lose my 3% or 4% today which is totally fine i will prepare myself for the next day if today i won't lose if I, if today i'm not going to win tomorrow is an opportunity always you need to have that positive attitude toward the market if you want to survive the market for a long term you are not here to just trade for one month or two months and leave if you are if your goal is for next 10 15 years into the stock market prepare yourself today to travel for next 20 years all right so these are the safest systems that i personally know and trade if at all if i really want to trade in option buying this is what i do this is what i'm going to do okay so just a minute so that's it for the day guys from my side <clears throat> so uh, what is the maximum what is the maximum loss still my so do we have to stay till maximum no 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 not needed if let's say your trade target is 100 points and your stop loss i mean your your the reverse direction the market has come 100 points there is no reason or meaning in holding the trade you can exit the trade with the minimum loss all right where is our office so we are located in raipur the capital of state chatisgarh chatisgarh is the capital and raipur sorry chatisgarh is the state and raipur is our capital so that's where we are operating from <clears throat> abhiram uh, it's it's a very big topic um uh, ashish that's what i'm saying if you are using the spread you don't need to put the stop loss see the problem with majority of the option buyers is they are scared with the stop loss yes or no they are confused whether they need to put a stop loss or not you don't need to put a stop loss because the maximum loss has already been decided you do whatever you want you can't lose more than that much maximum loss because maximum loss is fixed you don't need to put a stop loss because sometimes the market comes and hit your stop loss and it reverses so that advantage that disadvantage will also be completely cleared in this particular strategy don't put your stop losses keep your targets ready whenever you think the target is reached you can book your profits all right so one important announcement for you before i close the session we are going to conduct a 3 days workshop on understanding the price action especially will be used by both equity traders and option buyers and option sellers as well this is a 3 days workshop that is going to conduct conducted by adhyan and i personally will take care of this particular course particular workshop it's a 3 day workshop we are going to discuss about one important technique that will be helpful for both option traders and equity traders so it is it is a really good uh, workshop we have already conducted last two weeks back and we are conducting that again those who have missed in the last class last time can join the class again okay
those who are interested to join this particular workshop uh, our team will send you the details of the workshop the cost of this workshop is going to be 500 rupees only it's a very cost effective uh, workshop that we are going to conduct it's it's accessible and affordable by even by the students it's it's hardly cost less than a pizza right now so what i can tell you is it's not about the cost it's about the value that is going to be added for your trading system i'm going to explain you about the most important uh, things like capital management risk management risk to reward ratio a strategy logic of entry logic of stop loss logic of targets and different strategies uh, for this particular in this particular workshop if anybody is interested to be the part of this particular workshop can actually uh, click on this link uh, you will get to know details about the particular course and if anybody wants to join this particular uh, the workshop is going to start uh, dear team can you just give the dates what are the dates for this workshop timings are going to be evening the workshop is going to start on 9th of September, that is day after tomorrow. The timing will be 7.30 to 8.30. If not, it's going to be 8.30 to 9. We are going to give you the timings very soon. The timings will be between 7.30 and 9. The same time, okay? 7.30 to 8.30 or 8.30 to 9.30. We will be getting back, get, get back to you with all the details, okay? If anybody is interested to learn more things along with me, and by the way, we will be having one live trading session as well. Okay. The third day is going to be basically a live trading session. Unfortunately, last workshop, it's going, it's a pretty much sideways market and we couldn't, uh, uh, able to capture any move that particular day. Hopefully this time we get a good trading, uh, trending day and we might capture some good profits in option buying this time in the live trading session. If anybody wants to join, uh, the this particular workshop and trade along with me on the third day you're happy to welcome into this particular workshop if you have any other doubts about the course or about any other topic i'll be available to you for next five minutes after that we will be uh, uh closing the session for the day all right thank you so much guys for your time and patience uh you have you have uh, really had good patience and uh, stayed with me for uh, almost an hour with me thank you so much for your time and patience and enthusiasm to learn more things i hope this particular session one hour session is useful to you this particular one hour session on options was useful to you i hope i have added some value to your trading career if anybody wants to give any feedback of this particular webinar, free webinars, if you want us to improve ourselves in anything, you can give a, a constructive feedback. We are happy to take the criticism in a positive way always. If whether it is a positive feedback or negative feedback, we are ready to take and improve ourselves day by day. We will be coming back to you with uh, further topics in the upcoming webinars. Please do uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Telegram group as well. We are giving you uh, the enough uh, knowledge every day regarding the stock markets. So please do uh, follow us to get all the stock market updates. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope this particular session was a good uh, whether portfolio hedging will be covered in the coming webinar. Oh, uh, what do you mean by portfolio hedging? I didn't get you. Can you be, can you please be specific? What do you mean by a portfolio hedging? Acha, if you have taken an equity investment, can I hedge with covered calls or covered puts? Is that what you're trying to say? Hmm, not exactly that topic will be specifically discussed, but if you want, I can give you some ideas because I've, I've did some covered calls in the, in my past before I got into complete option selling, I used to do covered calls. 
I can give you my own experiences about covered calls. But that is not the main topic for the workshop. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, it's already late. I need to close the office now. I'm all alone in the office. Um, take care, guys. Have a good night. We'll meet again uh, in the next upcoming webinar. Until then, have a great day. See you. Bye-bye. I wish you all the best. Looking forward to meet you all in the upcoming workshop if anybody is interested. All right. Take care. See you. Bye-bye.